welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode on Lifecraft. Now, you can see this looks a little bit different. Uh, this is my nether tunnel. Well, we were a little busy on Sunday, and we kind of worked on this right here, and I kind of like it. It's a little different, but this is the way to my industrial district. And you can see I actually still have a lot to do down here. My rockets. I mean, a lot to kind of finish up. But, yeah, there's still going to be quite a bit to do on this. Not too bad. We still have to decorate this right here. We kind of spread it out a little bit so we can have more of an area that's kind of open. And you can see things are kind of spawning here now. Well, we thought of something that would uh, actually prevent that. If you notice, whenever we fly back through real quick. Right. Hello. Here, we're just using slabs. Well, the soul speed actually transfers through the slab. So we have soul speed. We don't. We have. We don't. And this is the pretty well known mechanic. But I think this would actually help out with the spawn problem that we have. Instead of me having to put buttons everywhere, well, we can just make it look decorative. So that is my thought. And I will be working on quite a bit of this because I have a lot of an area to cover. You see it transitions right here. And we're going to go back to the other form, which is this right here right through here and you can notice I've also started doing it over here and I do like this idea this will help me out and I don't have to worry so much about lighting or things popping up and saying hi whenever I am doing this now the stairs that's gonna be a different story I might have to start them back a little bit further but that doesn't look too bad it kind of slows you down a little bit but nothing too major so what we were working on in the last episode was actually trying to get all those tokens and the leap of faith well we have quite a bit of it done let's make sure he is way down there he is and we can throw down our ender chest and look at our little book so there we go uh yeah long story about zach's head but that's besides the point so i can see i have quite a bit of junk in here now versus ah here it is clues i looked in the wrong thing so, we were able to figure out clue two. Uh, let's see, going back to the beginning, uh, clue three. Clue four, I still don't know. And five. This one I have an issue. Six. Um, this one is the Iceland Queen. And actually, I know exactly where that's at now. And, oop, give me that. And make sure we're using that one. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and head over to the industrial district after we eat for a second and dump off a few things because I kind of want to clear up my inventory. Because I have a few things planned and I kind of want to make sure I have enough room for everything. Alright. So I was completely wrong on her the directions on that. So basically I just need to head over to Karis's face and then head to the savannah. Luckily they're not too far apart. Yeah, this is how far off I was. I was right here. And now, I'm going to have fun trying to find it. Shouldn't be too bad. But who knows? It, it could be anywhere on this mountain. Or just right here at the very top. Well, everybody, it's been a little bit since I've had a video come out. Well, there's a few things I've gone on. Um, I guess for the last little bit, I've had a severe sinus infection. So, uh, that's why I've kind of sounded a little weird the last few episodes. But, hey, we're sitting on our diamond throne, and we actually did something. If you look up in the top left corner, we are actually on Minecraft 1.17. So we updated uh, last weekend, and we went out exploring quite a few things. And we got a bit of stuff. Um, I would love to get some more of this deep slate right here. So I think that's going to look great in the base. Uh, when we finally start actually decorating, because we still got a lot of room to work with. And that kind of creeped me out for a second because it sounded like there was a zombie in here but it was actually just a zombified pigman but other than that so yeah i kind of took a break from doing the leap of faith for a little bit so we're going to try and work on that maybe once per episode but yeah i have a few more farms to work on i know i need to work on making a uh, dripstone farm and i got a berry farm right here i got some glowberries now in a second i'm gonna show you some clips from uh, our expedition of the live stream, if you didn't catch that over on 
my channel on EnigmaCraft86 at Twitch. <sighs> Guess what I got? No, I have glowberries. Woohoo! Yeah, you can all stay up there. I don't want to deal with you. <gasps> Guess what I found? Nope. Stalactites. But right now I'm dealing with skeletons and creepers. Okay, I just need silk touch, right? Yeah, we, we were busy. We were very busy. And I was actually collecting a lot of the ores by themselves so I could go ahead and put those in my filtering system and try and get that up. And yeah, we got a lot of copper and we got this. This has to be one of my favorite toys right now. Because you have zoom, then you have ultra zoom. Yeah, that's going to be great for future things. But one thing I'm kind of curious about, we did trim the chunks a little bit. And we did trim them up quite a bit. And I'm kind of curious, how far out do I have to go this way before I hit new chunks? Now, one way to find out, well, I got plenty of rockets. Let me go ahead and fly out. So right now we're at 365, 2145. So we're going to go and head this way. All right, I didn't fly too far out. We're going to test this right here. So all we really have to do is dig down a little bit and see if we can find a new type of ore. If you can't see that, uh, I do apologize. I don't have any torches on me. But it looks like that is the new ore. We can come. Oh, if I can find my way out, that would be great. It's a lot of bats in here. I didn't even think about that. I just used my uh, bow to do this to light up the area. But yeah, you can see that's a new ore. So I don't actually have to travel out too far. Now, if I can find my way back out, that'd be great. But yeah, so that wasn't too far. That was about a uh, thousand blocks. So I can make a tunnel over here real easy. And yeah, and actually start working on things. So one thing I was kind of disappointed on was the fact I did not see one single ocelotl, or axolotl, the new squirmy guy. And I also didn't get to see any of the uh, glow squids either. So that's two of the mobs I didn't get to see. Could have just landed right over here, and this would probably been a better, yeah. Um, what? Is that leaves down there? Wait, let's get a closer look. Yes, that is leaves. Um, I don't know what happened here. This is kind of interesting. I kind of want to go explore this real quick. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure, this makes sense. So... Really, it's not that far away, and I think I probably could have gone a little bit closer. Because it looks like some of the terrain has uh, been loading in since I got over here. So, we weren't too far away. Let's see how close we can actually get. There are a lot of torches over here. Um, Wait a second. This looks familiar. This looks very familiar. I have to do it. Yes. Yes. That is my, uh... Oh. Industrial area. So, yeah, we aren't too far away at all. So, literally, just right over here. And we are already hitting new chunks. That is awesome. That's going to help me out quite a bit on a few things. 
Especially, I think I just saw a geo form right over there. So really, it is not too bad. Yeah, so here's the areas. We can set up one of these as our uh, mining operation. I think that sounds like a good idea. Take one of these and land. Okay, good. Yeah, we can land and make a small area to start getting in more and more of that material that I've been looking for. Sadly, I'm not seeing any geos around here, but I can bring my... Wait. I take that back. I found one really fast. That is awesome. So, this weekend, me and Karis are going to be working on a farm, um, actually an automated farm, to go ahead and get the crystals. But if I can find a couple of them right around here, that would be great. <gasps> do I have a bucket? I have bucket. I have said bucket. Okay, got to do this. Come here. Yes! I got one. I got one. I'm so happy. I don't know where he spawned from. But yes, I am so happy now. Okay, so now we have to build a small t tank for all these. I don't know why I'm stuck in fly mode, but I am. But yeah, that's going to be kind of cool. Can't believe I just caught one of those. Bucket of Oxalotl. So let me go ahead and head back, and we're probably going to wrap up today's episode. I know it's a, a little bit strange. Uh, most of my videos have been kind of strange here lately. But I'm starting to feel better, so that is a good sign. Um, I should be back to my normal routine pretty soon uh, between work and everything. And actually, just that cold just kind of knocked me out for a while. In fact, we can actually just fly right through here. I wonder if we can... Are we going to see more of them while it's dark? I wonder. Can we go over here? Wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's just a ship. That was just a shipwreck. I was like, um, there shouldn't be one that close. But, yeah, I can actually stand out here and watch for them. I didn't even think about that till now. It's not like anything's going to spawn and attack me on here besides maybe... Oh, what are those things called? Oh, phantoms, phantoms. Why could I not remember that? See a lot of drowns. But yeah, I can actually keep an eye out for him over here. Hi, Mr. Brown Mushroom Cow. But yeah, I think that's actually kind of cool. Rainbow Fly that. You know, I am kind of sad still. I haven't seen one single glow squid. I am really kind of curious on what they look like in the water. So there you have it. I wasn't able to find another glow squid. But, hey, we got everything in there. We got all this. I need to put this in a sorting system. And I have to think of what I want to do with this. I know I want to go ahead and get a... Oh, what do you call it? Dripstone farm up and going. And we did actually find a lot of things. So if you saw how I found them... I lucked out. I'll be honest. I lucked out on finding the glow berries and the dripstone. The two things that we're having a hard time finding. Now, the other one we can get through a village trade or a um, wandering trader, but that's going to have to wait till it shows up. I did run across one in the live stream, but it kind of got attacked by zombies and uh, yeah. So this is something I'm going to have fun with. I can't wait to play with that tinted glass. That's going to be a lot of fun right there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And sorry for being a little late, but until next time, this is Ingram Craft 86 saying you all are awesome and amazing people for sticking around this long. And until next time, take it easy, everybody. Later.